400 of Uncle Sam's eagles from the Army, Navy, and Marine Corps are spreading their wings in one of the biggest aerial reviews ever held in the United States. Spectacular formations are the order of the day, and the people of San Diego are getting the thrill of their lives. Queen of Fires looks on as the planes take part in difficult drills, where men and machines move in unison in remarkable exhibitions of skill. The most striking feature of all is the mass laying of smoke screens, filmy streamers to blind an enemy in wartime, but today just a white feathered trail of the fighting eagles. Bird men, some of them students, are all set to make a series of daring parachute jumps over Chanute Field. First, dropping from a stepped up plane formation, a feat very rarely attempted and plenty hazardous except to experts. Next is the turn of the students who are making their first plunge into space from 3,000 feet up. They are leaving a transport to demonstrate how quickly planes can be evacuated in a wartime emergency. The greatest aviation carnival ever held in this country is being brought to a grand finale. This is one of the national air races with the flying speeders making more than 200 miles an hour. Next, the Marine Hell Divers come out in their bombers to show the crowd some bullseye shooting. flyers from Southridge Field, Mount Clemens, Michigan, out to demonstrate battle formations. Every one an ace, making a hand your Uncle Sam's rightly proud of. Army flyers from Selfridge Field in Michigan are out for their first winter maneuvers. They've been practicing some mighty effective formations, as you can see, and drill like aerial West Pointers. In Cloudland, thousands of feet up, they give old Sal a treat and present a perfect picture of uniformity. Grand finale, flashing the initials of the Air Corps in the sky. The more Army fledglings have found their wings, and today it's their graduation review. The attack planes are here with machine gunning.
finale. Pursuit ship, bombing. new mother plane and the baby under her wing are Uncle Sam's latest recruits to his flying army. Here they go on their first family jaunt. They're the biggest and littlest war planes in the world and the fastest. Mother is a giant bomber and baby a pursuit ship. Both can speed over 200 miles an hour. We go to Selfridge Field in Michigan, where Lieutenant Warburton is doing some fancy stunts. Hold tight. An Army Daredevil's idea of a good time. Observation Squadron leaves Brooksfield to fly through heavy cumulus clouds 7,000 feet overhead. Formation flying is on the day's program. Over San Antonio, they go into line. In the cloud banks, it'll take a steady hand on the stick to keep them that way. changes in formation. The squadron commander signals for V groups. Trained for blind flying, the army pilots keep in perfect formation. And then comes the order for left turn. beyond the mountains, where a forced landing spells disaster. On reaching the desert country, we sight the first figure of heroic proportions. See it down there? 165 feet long, made by an unknown race, which outlined it in surface pebbles thousands of years ago. And now we sight another, believed to be a prehistoric memorial to warriors who roamed the land centuries before the American Indian, the mystic sign of a forgotten civilization. brothers made the first sustained airplane flight in history, proving that man could stay aloft in a heavier-than-air machine. In 1932, Orville Wright, on left, lone survivor, saw a 60-foot shaft on top of Kill Devil Hills, unveiled by Ruth Nichols, the nation's tribute to the father of aviation, an inspiring monument. has some new team, bombers that can carry a 5,000 pound load at nearly 200 miles an hour. The bombs are slung under the monoplane wing, which has a spread of 76 feet. The fuselage is armored and looks like a big 60 foot cigar. Watch the new monoplanes pass the present type biplane bombers. They also carry 5,000 pounds, but their best speed is 120 miles an hour. The landing gear is drawn up into the ship after the takeoff, making for greater speed. 
Captain Holmes of the second bombardment group handles the controls and bomb releases. Wait for the target. The misses are few and far between. These new airplanes, with expert pilots, give Uncle Sam a coast defense second to none. 